fancy fucking boats and disappear across the coastline. Well, that was my near plan right. in the beginning, but you're not going to like where I plan on going. <laughs> cool. It's a way for us to go. I'd go with you. Well, at least on the Risa front, I have two weighted nets ready. Right. Oh, he's finished it. Good. Yes. I finished some your point. weighted net. He brought me the supplies. Okay. So, so we're on the same page. Marcus has made two nets weighted down to and hopefully be able to throw on top of this thing masquerading as Risa. And then we can try and burn it. On that point, I can soak it in oil if I get enough. There have been times where this thing has appeared and we've tried to attack it. Hell, I've thrown my knife right through its chest. It goes right through them. There's only been some times where we've been able to touch her, or should I say, she touch us, which means we're going to need to have someone as bait. She needs to be attacking someone when we do this. Fuck it, I'll do it. Perhaps Soma. I've prepared a gambeson already. A gambeson, my friend. It tears through Kyler the metal. and I watch them pick up men in full plate. Yes. But you for forgetting something. Go ahead. I have attempted and succeeded in shooting a flaming crossbow bolt before. I can do it again if given the proper tools. We have something. We have a couple of things. We've got a couple of things in the works. With um, we're told not to talk about the origins of it, but we can get essentially something so hot that it should burn her up in almost an instant. Just call it what it is. We don't have to say who it is in case that thing is listening. It's guardian fire. It'll mm. burn and burn and burn, and water will not. So someone is bait, someone to throw the nets, and someone to f flame, f throw, fire the thing? I believe it'll be in a clay pot, correct me if I'm wrong, Bezrin. Something like and that, and it's important that you never open it. As soon as the seal is cracked in any way, it is shot. incredibly explodes. dangerous, it explodes, yes. So there is a weapon I used to use well. in the Underdark. It's very simple. It's made of just leather. It's, I don't know the common word for it, but you use momentum and a sling. throwing around objects. A sling. Is, yeah. Sarah is definitely the best at range. I can get one of those. That is true. If I can get one of those, I can be more successful in hitting them. And I still volunteer as bait because I have something that the rest of you do not. I think some of you I'm have seen it. <laughs> A joke. Oh, <sighs> okay, well, if we're going to do this, we should. You more courage than I. We should preemptively get medical supplies, person. right? Just in case. I've, I've got four bandages and an advanced healing potion. One Perfect. basic healing potion. One basic healing I bandage. Potion. I have fuck that, all. That uh, dragon funnel that I had you get forever ago. Did mm. that go to oh, Ellen? Did to you make something out of it? If someone else needs it, obviously. Mm. That would have been between you and Ellen. And Ellen gets hurt. Fingers crossed. The point is, we're not without. Hopefully, yeah. any one of us gets hurt, we'll be taken care of. Okay. Hmm. Now, how do we bait it out? We're not doing this tonight, are we? Please no, I don't stuff think so. Ready. Things aren't ready yet. We need to determine a place, time, and then find a way to lure her out. even then we have to die. We can't predict her like that, you know that. Mm. Not yet. Maybe there's a pattern we, need to we be haven't ready. seen yet. Mm. Keep your when eye. you're in... Wait. No, that doesn't make any sense. But if we're too late, she'll attack at least one, right? What if? It's because you're in danger. That's when she shows up. 
or when you're vulnerable. Stage a moment of distress. <sighs> she got me when I was alone. She got you when you were being attacked. She got Bess when he, when he was alone in the dark. Definitely need to be alone. She won't do it in Scared. large groups unless she needs to. Maybe she doesn't want to risk herself. In the hospital. Yeah. Like the clinic in town. Yes, I dropped him off. I had my torch. And he said it visited him. She can get him. I knew it. She <laughs> barricades don't work. She can just fucking get him. Well, why couldn't she get in here? Because she doesn't want to. She's sentient Do enough. She's doing this for a fucking reason. I wasn't saying the name of where we were getting that thing from in case it's listing. Hmm. We know it's learning. I believe many times that we've stood together, it's been standing with us. If it isn't right now. I think I would sense it, wouldn't I? You never know. Not if it's not magic. Before. How could but how could it disappear like that without it being mind, magic? Because they I have innate know. abilities. How do they learn so fast? How, how do oh, they do anything? Hold on a moment. Just because it's not explainable doesn't mean it's automatically magic yes, or preternatural or supernatural. Oh, I don't think... If I can finish, please. I don't think she's a ghost. She's very much alive. She has feelings. They are that girl's feelings, and that thing is manipulating them to get to us for some fucking reason. That is fact. She's not a ghost. And she's not magic. It's a fungus. Parasite. It's a fungus. I didn't bump into anything. Oh dear. I have a question. Now that this may sound silly. This thing has been seen by people other than us. However, when we have encountered this thing, it has managed to cloak itself from our vision. Has it done the same for those who have seen it out with us that didn't go down there? Yes. Yes. What I'm trying to say is is it because we are infected that we can't see her? I don't know if there's anyone that hasn't been underneath Ledford that's seen her. We don't know. It's just been us, right? L has L. seen it. Said. Miss L. Now, she's never been underground, has she? No. no. There you go. It's not it's... infection. What I'm trying to say is that we can't see it right now. Yes, that's very obvious. She's think good of it, at hiding. Now, think of it like this. The people outside of us that have been infected, that are not infected, right? This thing may have the ability to do what we think it can. But, when we were down in the dark, this thing appeared out of nowhere all the time. As if it was following us in front of us all the time. We could be mid-swing and it would appear in front of us. Are you beginning to understand what I'm trying to say? No, I, no I have, I'm under the impression you're saying a whole lot this, of nothing right now. This thing is messing with our heads. We don't even know if it's yes. there. It's physically no, attacked us. It has physically hurt it has us. Physically attacked Scar us yes. to prove it. Yes. <sighs> You're not understanding. You say? Are you saying it's... that it's messing with our minds so Remember, that we don't see it we or something? Underneath Vezrin. A couple times, some of us were lured away and didn't have any clue how it happened or why. Do you remember that? It happened to me. I think it happened to me as well, yes. And myself. And to her. So how is that able to happen? Beanbag. Oh. You mentioned something Maybe about our some blood would be... Infection, I don't know. When, when it spoke to us all, it said, your blood will be our archways, your eyes, our, or your, um, 
something our eyes. Maybe to remind you. <sighs> Maybe it was something to, to do with our minds. We would have been if we weren't if we weren't for the elixir. As the our system's system we found out is only a suppressant and not a cure. Right. So even though we're not spreading it, we're still infected ourselves. It doesn't mean we're not Are we spreading. the ones infecting him or she? If we were spreading it, this she entire has town had an outbreak already. It's been two years since well, most of us have been here. not dead. No, do you remember when the shroom lung broke out, it would send people into coughing fits. They'd fall deathly ill and die. What if it's dormant? What if because it was so active is because that's what the hive mind wanted? What if it can control this whether thing... it's dormant in us or not? That seems like you a reach even a bit. I don't know. You it's... may have a point. The way that Think about this it. works is it spreads spores. It doesn't... Yes, but... How would it spread spores more effectively? If people don't know they're carrying them. We're getting back into very heavily speculation territory. The fact that people have lived and died here while we've been here, and no mushroom creatures have arisen, should be enough. I think about all of the plated men that, that it killed. It just killed like 12 plated men. Those men haven't come back. Well, I think we've hit a dead end, essentially. That's what I'm gathering. This thing with Riso. We have the nets. We still need to arrange a time, a place, and, and bait. A way to lure them. I need two flasks if of oil. If we can end, best friend. If we can end it before it starts, then we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Hmm. I have plenty of tallow. I can't give it away for free, unfortunately. Well, if we can get Clifford to render it down. He has to have the money for it. I spoke to him earlier. And plus okay. he wants to use the tallow for life. Before we all split up and start doing things, we need to figure out what sort of direction we're going, right? Otherwise this talk is just kind of... This is what I know. What is our immediate to-dos? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. I have to go take care of some things, but I have no idea how to move forward on this. The Risa thing's on pause. We need to talk to Raven. Get them to shut up. We need to find out where Raven is and have that talk with him as soon as possible as a group. We could go right now. Go right now. He should be in town. Who do you want to go with you? Are you free for dinner today? <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, excuse me, I do have to take care of something. Go do what you must. Be down in a sec. Um, can see. I borrow your ear very briefly seeing me all you in the I don't something know what you need to know. Well then tell me now. I've asked for a message to be sent to a certain someone we know. Because I've found someone that claims that they know a second. A second? Apparently they're not the only one, and if I am to be believed, if this person is here, they can't be far. As for this issue, Cerevis, Marcus, Kylo, and myself will go speak with Raven. Speak. Why? Am I rotten fish? Stinky. If you can maintain an air of seriousness, my love, come along. Absolutely. <laughs> I was a warrior that did you know. Yes. Fuck creatures. Sure you were, Raylan. Guarded nobles. Uh-huh. Oh, and don't gaslight me into thinking my entire backstory is noble. <laughs> I'm gonna Just stay on the main serious. roads. Yeah. If you find him, come back to me. I'm gonna wait until you tell me where he is.
Oh, he's literally up ahead. I see him. Perfect. Then we know where he is. <clears throat> Do you, are you on speaking terms with him? Yeah. Bring him to the marketplace. We'll wait for you. Understood. Told you we need to talk. If you ever want your first finger, yeah. You know where I am. Mm. Uh, come with us. We'll go to the stall and then and you talk to you. The motherfucker was literally right here. Raven, got a moment? Uh. Yes. Hello. I never remember the last time you asked me about my day. <laughs> In a moment. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Miss Raven, good to see you. You could come good to have a word with us, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Listen, um, wait a moment. You. I'm busy, Mr. Judge, if you'll forgive us. Then I need to speak with them after. I will send them to you. Grazie. This dude went to a second location with us. The fool! Please, by all means, have a seat. No. I didn't realize who you were at first until a couple of people came around and realized to tell me who you were. I'm assuming by now you know who most of us are, considering what I've been told. Yes. <laughs> Let me keep things very sweet and to the point, very short. Every single person that you speak to about what you know is threatening all of our lives. Every stranger that you tell about this is threatening all of us. With people like that at the docks, and now the elves being in town, if information about what you have revealed about Ledford circulates that far, we are all dead. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you? I kept no one's name. I, I, I made sure to tell no one about anyone except for myself no when I talked about them. It's about the contents of There's the going to be people that are curious about what you have to say that will start asking questions and pressing people and cornering them. And now there are several people in town who I have never known before I came here. 
that seemed to know everything because one of the hunters told them about it. Told them about Ledford. I have only ever told three people all at once one occasion where I have talked about it. I have not talked about it to anyone else. To others and others. They see I have I told Alan, Markle, and my fellow hunter Lorelei. I have only <laughs> mentioned myself. I have never said anyone else's name. I have never tried to make make well, any Well, unfortunately, other name. some of the people you've spoken to are a little bit more cunning than you are, and decided to start finding out who it is that might also know about this. Picked up on habits different than people who live here, singled out people who seem different from the native population, and started cornering and asking. The person who asked me, Mr. Raven, brought into account that they know that my family lives here before they asked me. That's a threat. And you enabled this threat. Now, I'm not a murderous man. I am livid, but more so concerned. The people that are aware right now, if they decide to talk to the wrong person, you can guarantee that we will be hauled off to that embassy or over to those ships. Because the people that are here would jump to be able to kill everyone who has this information. Or torture us and find out what we know. Now the only reason why I'm approaching this with any semblance of leniency is that we haven't seen each other in years. And perhaps you did not know there was a need for secrecy. But this is me telling you. The last person who put us all in danger and spoke about everything that we knew. Someone, even to this day, I have no idea, almost slit their throat in the night. Take that as a warning for all of us. Soma was Do not hot, wasn't it? He showed me the scar. Do not speak of this to anyone else again. I ask this of you I will have to warn you, though, that uh, he goes by Vesra now. He told Torty. What? She came what? to me to confirm his story. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, my lord. Thank you for letting us know, Mr. Raven. I will have a word with Mr. Veteran. As I've told him, I genuinely want to try to do what's best for all of you because you too, I owe a lot to. And I did not mean to. Want to come in? Right. Where I stood with everything too. I would lay down my life to make sure one of you two survived if you were in danger, because both of you are ones that I'm willing to do that for. I didn't. Mr. Need Ezra, to I do. need to talk to you upstairs alone. <clears throat> I'm sure. But that's all I had, Mr. Point. Raven. If any of you else Clear. have inputs, please, by all means. <clears throat> He's been warned. If we have not been properly acquainted, my name is Raylan. Seems like I'm too late to bring five if I'm I was Arnulf. the fisherman. I am going to go speak to Torty. Do you want to come with me? Speak? Thank you so much. Yes, I need to know what she knows. Dirt. Let's handle it. One second. The fact that people aren't fully aware of is people already know who the Aralandi refugees are, just so you're aware. I'm fully aware that I could be very well another person on that list to be killed. I... Eh, they didn't listen. Let's go figure it out. Ow. I trusted him. I 
fucking trusted him, I gave him an ounce of it. Maybe she'd be good. Maybe he'd trained her. Your bag. Oh, thank you. You have a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Uh, but yeah, you want to talk back at my shop or? Sure, anywhere private will be fine. Oh, look, it's so cute. I did so good on that. All right, come on. Yes, you did. It's just what I wanted. Come on. Oh, sure, guy. Also, started your armor. You need to stop Fantastic. blowing merchants for discounts, and you need to get your head up yep. there. Yeah. All right, come on in. Close the door if you need. Don't he said care. That was private. You're really picking up on this, aren't you? Oh. Do you remember yesterday when you spoke to me about wanting to ask me some questions? Right, those kind of questions. Okay, that should be a lot more more private than here. I think actually, because uh, anyone can like come here. Yeah, probably your place. Then? Where no one will find us. Yes, that's actually a great idea. Come to a second location with us. Oh boy, location. I love going to a second locations. Oh, Nothing wrong can ever go happen. <laughs> Drow are trustworthy. Hmm. Oh, Kim. We gotta stick together. Right. Grab those horses. Wait, do they change color? I swear to god, the center one was Charlie. Okay. Sometimes bye. they swap, um... Stables, I think. Oh boy. Me too. It's, it's so cute. Favorite. You two can take the <sighs> bed, it's very comfortable, or you can sit. I don't care where you sit. Just sit somewhere. <sighs> Alright. So... Um, okay. I'm putting a lot of things together. Um... They're so far away. I have to look on like the other side of the room. Go hold, hold on. <sighs> but here, okay. <laughs> Why don't you get closer? At least like, okay. That's no, fine. Being chill, um, being cool. So, Vez taught you how to read and stuff, right? Read and write, yes. Read and write. So that means you've known each other for a long, long time, which means like at least two years. Just making sure. Sure. Oh, okay. So are you both from Ledford then? Where did you get that name from? Uh, Ben, uh, Vaz told me. What he else told me a lot of things. has he told you? He told me he about told the fucking scary thing you. that this... There was a, a scary thing that chased me the other day. Do you know about that? The, the red-haired woman that is dead? Sounded like a bad confirmation. Okay, cool. So he's not crazy, and I'm not crazy, because we're all crazy together. Wonderful. That is what I will tell you: is no, you're not fucking crazy. Mm. Trust me, we all went through okay. that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's though, the bitch that so... broke my arm. 
Uh, I fell, I, I was high up, she appeared behind me. I climbed up a thing, right? And uh, she wasn't following me. I turn around, she was right there. I scream, I fall, I break my arm. So... It could have been yeah. a lot fucking worse than that, so we're lucky it was just your arm. That tower's high. <sighs> What else has he told you? Uh, he told me a lot of stuff, actually. Like, a lot of stuff that I don't know how to process. Like, mushroom, uh, the corpses, which sound completely made up. But at the same time, I saw that bitch, so now I don't know how much is made up. Um, he talked about doorways and rocks that he threw in the doorways. Um... Let's see, uh, there, there, there's like uh, the ancient civilization underneath Ledford. I have to sneeze. Pineapple. Ah. Fuck. I think I'm allergic to that potion I took. Mm. But, um, fucking a lot, a lot. He told me a lot of stuff. Um. Any names? The fact that you, huh? Any names, people? Uh, no, he didn't, he didn't tell me any name. Well, actually, um, not him, but another guy mentioned, uh, that there was, uh, that mentioned some stuff. I can't really remember a lot of it, a lot of names that I haven't heard around here. So, <clears throat> like, uh, there, there's a Nicholas guy. The, oh, the lady that is chasing me, I think her name is Risa. Is that right? Supposedly, right. we can't uh, be sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, that wasn't Marin that told me that. That that was a other person. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then the, 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 there's like oh, eight of yous that are here that I I can tell about the crazy lady chasing me. So I'm like trying to figure out who all that is, but I'm like trying to figure out, and I, I figured out you because uh, Vez told you to um, uh, told me that he taught you, so he can teach me. So then I put together that you knew each other for a long time. So does that mean that your um, that your blacksmith, uh, the the elder, also is involved with the shit? The issue that we're having that here, towards you. Is that Vezrin has been very liberal with information he shouldn't have been. He is putting a lot of people's lives at risk by letting this information get out there. And the more people that know about it, the more people that are at risk and the more likely that we will be killed. What we need to know Has he told anyone us? Is how much I thought I was the only one he told. <sighs> there are other people in this town that have been talking as well, and s conversations that are just... seem like regular conversations, like you're not giving away information or you're not saying much when paired with other people, like you have done with Vezrin and, I'm going to assume, Raven. Suddenly you're seeing the big picture. Yeah. This is dangerous information. I got that. I have a bitch chasing after me at night now. Nights are scary. What the fuck? Yeah, nights are fucking scary. Be you glad that you can see. Fear than the woman in the dark. If this word gets out, not only could it kill I, all I, of us, it very well will catch up with you as well. You don't have to worry about me snitching. I don't tell things. I, I, I try to be smart about my confirmations and stuff. I'm not very smart, but like... Bases. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to be like, did you hear mushroom people? Because I don't know why people aren't fucking panicking already. He said that this thing has been out and about and attacking other people and stuff. But like, no one's talking about it. Because it's one of those How things that we don't want to tell about people about. Right? Hysteria is very powerful. Not only that, but if people hear about that, they'll look into it and it will become just... We don't want that. Uh, it is right. not something that can be easily controlled 
And if the information gets into the wrong hands, notice could be gone. Gone? Wait, what do you mean gone? It's imperative that these things stay secret. Okay? For I, I got that, yeah. <sighs> Unless you know, I want all of you dead, obviously I'm going to keep my mouth shut. If Vez told me that much, if I told anyone that he would be dead. For you. Do you have a way out of here that is not land? If you had to leave tomorrow. Ship. All right. I think we're good then. I trust her. I think she understands. Sure, just be careful about what things you put together, right? And don't talk to Vesserin about it anymore. What? There's plenty more you can talk about with him. But the past should remain in the past. Build new things. All right. right. Yeah. You're good for him. I mean, that is fair, because he told me stuff that I don't actually know how to address, so I'm just trying not to. Don't so. let him dwell. If I ask anything yeah. of you, keep him in the present, please. He has enough to worry about. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's what a crew is about. They're all about the present and stuff. No one cares about your past. I can do that. Good. You are free to leave whenever. If you have any other questions, I can try to answer to the best of my ability, but these subjects are very touchy for us. Yeah, um... You both seem really calm and collected about as night woman with red hair like you know that she can just appear right it's not like she like crawls after or walks and stuff she was just right there we're handling it <sighs> hopefully soon she will not be a problem any longer for now All do right. not be out alone and especially stay in town and if you feel any type of danger, just go home and lock your door. Will that work? It's worked so far. Mm. <sighs> Alright, so, um, is there, like, anything I should do other than just trying to pretend that my life is normal? Keep Vesrin's head on his fucking shoulders, please. Alright. He tends to <laughs> run away with things. Remind him of the present, slow him down a little, let him appreciate what's happening now rather than him running around like a headless chook. That'll be better for both of you, I think. I, I will reiterate it. Him telling you this information has put your life directly in danger. From multiple fronts. Yeah, he thinks that is why the bitch is after me now. I don't know how she it knows could that I know. It very well be true. Because the one thing I will tell you for your own safety is this thing preys on your mind. So guard yours. And guard Vesrin's, please, because Matriarch knows he fucking needs it. Now, if you don't mind, I need another fucking drink. This took a lot out of me. Right, uh... Sorry, but thank you. Uh, so if any time I feel like I'm going crazy, can I just, like, find one of yous and be like, Hi, We're the best buddies, people, yes. You know, shit. We're supposed to stick together anyway. All right, Absolutely. cool. Awesome. Mm. Great. Cool. Awesome. Are you criminals? <laughs> It depends on the day, honestly. <laughs> okay, so that's a yes. <laughs> I I grew up in Coricatus. Well, Forty. Oh, okay. Well, 
Okay. Same as Dredge. Where I'm from, your laws are fucking stupid, so... They're not my laws. My laws are on the sea. There's no laws out there Where except there unless are I'm no captain. Laws. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've heard that rhyme once or twice. Very similar to the mm. Underdark, except it's more like survival of the fittest. May the weak be eaten by the strong. Or the cunning. Like, actually eaten? Or like... In the farther off settlements that are more feral and barbaric, probably. Probably as a show of dominance, though. I don't think it's very nutritional. I don't think oh. we taste very good. Darker meat is not uh, my thing. Riddled with diseases. I would hope not. Mm -hmm. Torty. All right. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you for keeping level about it. Mm. I have had a couple of days to process it, and it all is still not real. It's still all made up, sorta, in my head. Uh, the fact that I saw her was scary and terrifying and stuff, but, like, I don't understand it. And if I don't understand it, I'm just going to push it to the side and try to exist without it, sort of thing. Smart. Just know that we will protect you if things out of anyone's control start to happen around here. Yeah. Not saying they will, but in case things do go south. Father of self, and we are. You'll be fine. As long as you can find All a right. boat and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's a great idea. As in the, the worst case scenario, I steal a sloop. Uh, best case scenario, I ask to be hired real quick, and they see that I'm really good at wind catching, and then I got the job. So, yeah. <laughs> right then. Feel a lot better after that. Hmm. <laughs> Stupid. All right. <sighs> thank you, Torsi. Uh, thank you for telling me I'm not crazy. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so I'm like, like the next bar in my generation. Than... So like, I could. Uh, what is this? Oh, the next bar Back up. Shariq. Oh, you're following me into my house now. I do. Where's Morden? I don't know. I went to go handle other stuff. I'm looking for Dizim. Halfwit got me a fucking... hit in the head from a tree. <laughs> what? I need to talk to him. He might be in his, uh... You can go this way. He's not in his study, I checked. Oh, oh, yeah. Never mind then. I want to rail you really thin. She's married. <laughs> hey, babe. Oh, fuck. That's a dude. <laughs> God, it keeps getting me. Oh. I've been hit once. By an elf. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. Hit or miss. Hey, I guess I never miss. I guess miss, I never huh? miss, huh? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you got a boyfriend. You got a boyfriend? I bet he doesn't kiss ya. <laughs> Smith. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Good fight today. Uh, 
Almost got in a lot of trouble. Boy. Yeah. Because I... of it, uh, we're not sparring today. That's a shame. You need something? Just need to tell you that, really. Okay. See, I'm not gonna pay someone Good enough for me. Lucas strikes again. I'm gonna be back for you, baby. I'm gonna learn all about that, uh, Oh! What's up? Marco, I finished the book, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, I guess Fugushi probably would be the best Fushy. reference. Is it like a fish? Is there like water cup levels of suction? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a drink. Oh my god, Sidney, please help. No, I'm telling Tazim. I, I, I told him multiple times that I had a partner. Uh, they did not care. Harry. Do you mind if we uh have a have a talk? Yeah. Privately. Come on in. How can I help? Liliana here? No, she's out and about today. I can leave a message if you'd like. I wanted to ask your guys' opinion on something. Okay. You remember that slave that the guards have been looking for? Slave? I... This is the first I've heard of it. They are. Okay. And I've been taking care of said slave. Okay. Now, I'm trying to get her brothers away from somebody. The man likes to drink, likes to beat his slaves. I need to figure out how to legally have him sign over the slaves to me. You'd have to buy them, probably. That really can't be an option. doubt he's going to part with them willingly unless he's compensated somehow. My original thought was to get him pissed drunk to sign something that would potentially sign them over to me. Unfortunately, I can't make a document like that only, like, a scribe would be able to. There's a few of those around that could figure. draw something up for you easily. I mean, you having the deed to a slave unsigned over isn't suspicious at all. No, but if he was to see them missing... Okay. I need to be able to somehow acquire said document without questions. <sighs> you want me to have a document written up for you to... I mean, it's just a slave transfer document. It's pretty standard stuff, yes. right? I see what you're getting at. I might be able to handle it for you. 
but it's a little risky. Do you know how much something like that being drawn up would cost? You don't know somebody. I could get in contact with someone, yeah. I'm already struggling in the farm as is. I've exhausted everything I can possibly have. What do you think's gonna happen when he becomes sober and realizes that he's signed over two of his slaves to you? It'd be too late at that point. You get in a matter of dodge. I would free them. Okay. I think he'd still be pretty pissed at you. Like I would care. Who exactly is the person that owns them? It's a uh, taskmaster, I believe he said he was. Affiliations? The only things that I can think of is that he pretty much sells the slaves. Uh, he has two inside his building that he mistreats. Likes to have them bring him a cup of mead. Likes to insult them. Pretty much just of a dick of a man. I could get you the unsigned documents, but I'm not going to dabble in freeing slaves or that kind of skullduggery. I wouldn't ask you to. Okay. I just I'll need to somehow get a hold of said document. Put some feelers out there and see if I can handle that. If it's going to cost a lot of money. If it gets, a, it's just a document, it's not like you're selling the slaves or whatnot, it shouldn't cost too much. If it does, I'll just bail and let you know, because I don't think either of us confront a huge cost, but I'm fine with covering it if it's a silver or two, maybe. I doubt it would be that much, but you know. I would help cover where I could. Well, once I figure out what the cost is, I can let you know. Might as well tell you what it should state. Okay. If, uh... Chat, make note. What a brain wasn't so bad to forget the man's name. I could get the, uh, to avoid a uh, suspicion, I could get the template written up and leave blank spots for the names that you yourself can fill in later, or even get him to do it. That way, it can't really be traced back to either of us. Name is Theodore Saint. Okay. And it's well, two Theodore slaves. Saint Saint signs over... Eli, Leon, and Isabel to Harry and trade for his personal ring. Okay. I'll see what I can do. No promises, but I'll work on it over the night and if I find something, I'll get it back to you. I appreciate this. Of course. A friend of Liliana is a friend of mine. Plus, can't stand slavery. Is that all? 
Yes. Okay. I'll um, owe you for this. Well, once I get it done, you can owe me. For now. Well, we're even. This doesn't go to anyone else, though. Don't go spreading rumors. I know. Believe me, I know how to keep something secretive. Mm. We talked about possible food coming in here straight from the farm. Or you couldn't haggle me down on the price. <laughs> right. Well, sorry we couldn't make a deal. It's a shame. Would have liked to have given you money, but not for that price. Huh? You alright? Yeah, I'm trying to get a food supply coming Man in. in there. No stress. A food supply? Uh, you know, just in case. But price is too high. It's no worries. I got other things going on. How are you doing? Doing all right, just working. Uh, speaking of food, will you be free tonight for dinner? Sure, probably. Good. I have fresh crab I got from the fisherman this morning. Ooh, fresh crab. Very nice. Yes, I got it for free. All I had to do was, uh, you know, I, I got to go sailing with him. Oh. And uh, I would dive down and fix his, his, his crab pots or whatever. That's why I was late to, meet, to the meeting. Sure, no. It was great. No, so I even saw... Get this, I saw a uh, a shipwreck, and he, he told me that there's a certain stretch of land between, like, the two waterfalls that has, uh, like, shipwrecks out there, that the merchant ships that have some stuff on them. Dangerous to go. But when I get a weapon, which I'm saving up for, I want to go out there and try to uh, see what's on those ships. Hmm? Mm, as long as you're careful. I know how scary the ocean yes, can be. Hence the careful, careful part. Yeah, maybe yes, take Marcus with you. Very dangerous things. Yeah, take me way down into the ocean. How long can Just you hold your breath, me. huh? We could get a bucket. Oh, like two minutes. We could put a bucket over your head, and that keeps air. No, it doesn't work. The pressure will kill me. I have. No. I will say, no. I have had Tang go down there with me before. So perhaps, maybe I Tang? can join me. He could double oh, as an ankle. That's right. He could just a, walk down there. Graveyard. He doesn't really swim. He's he so walks, slow. right? Slow. He's so okay. slow. <laughs> it took him so long to get to the bone graveyard. It took like 30 But at least he can get down there. He can get down there, yes. He's just... it. The further he goes down, the slower he gets. And it's just, as long as Sam doesn't crazy. get into his joints. Yeah. Some far yeah. away place that uh, it's reasonably priced and then just bring it back. Ah, I just see. I don't know if you happen to know anything from through the uh, mercenary field or anything. Hey, are you really Sam too? That's so sweet. Just remember that I'm a number one fan, okay? Let's not get that confused. Okay, I know awesome. someone who is a better fan. That goes back to oh, yeah, really? That's so funny. Nope. That you can uh, find your name? Nope. Uh, Much nice. description he gave. Yes, I believe he, he mentioned you. I'll do it in a different for you. Clippery, I like it. Hey! 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 Sorry, it's been busy today. Where's your father? <laughs> He's gone, mate. What do you need? Fuck you. He said he needed. He he wanted me to make moonshine. I need to know if he's gotten the stuff and he has the coin for it. And I can get started on it because it's going to take a few days for it to be done. Mm -hmm. The longer he waits, the longer it takes. Do you want to ask him? Uh... Considering where I just saw him run off to, I think it's gonna be a hot minute. Yeah, story of my life. If I see him, I'll ask him. Uh, you know, if you haven't already. All right. Outside of that, I literally only have 
one thing to do today, and that's just I, I, I know the get feeling. this ale delivered to the embassy. I know the feeling. <laughs> I want to go somewhere. I want, I want to leave Nodis for like a day or two and just go somewhere. You could get off one like, of the sloops and it's just... too dangerous with the roads. You know. After what happened, ocean. I don't think the sloops are going to be available for rent for <laughs> any while. What happened? Uh, a certain individual crashed a sloop into the dock. Who? That's for you to find out and me to know. Is it someone that's... All I'm gonna say is you know her. Does it rhyme with Balin? <laughs> uh, no. What about Borty? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Berevith. Okay. Well, that covers most of it. Closer though, she's she's got the pointy ears. Bear Beeren? Baron? No. <laughs> no. Come on, you got it. Uh, bin? <laughs> Unfortunately, wrong gender. It's only female. I didn't want to assume. Bastidy? Bastidy. She did it? She, she got drunk last night. <laughs> Is she hiding? <laughs> no, she's fortunately resting her head. She's been having headaches all morning. I, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Surprised she wasn't shot down by the fucking ships that are waiting out of there. God damn it. That's hilarious. I'm surprised she was able to leave Doc. <laughs> Don't hide from me. Oh, Rayla, I didn't see you there. Hi. What? Well, you are you were right? Uh, I'm going into the ocean to go gather. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of days. I go this way, they're not going to be there. Yeah, eh. Eh. It's attacking your face. Stop. <laughs> okay, go, go have fun in the ocean. Bring me back. Thank you, I will. Mm -hmm. A shell. Okay, well do. Yay. Okay, one second chat. Gonna quickly take a short little break. I'll be right back.
Uh, sorry, chat. I, I just I had this epiphany of making own pizza for dinner. We have a bread maker. I can make pizza dough. And I had to go I had to I had to go tell Re that that's what we're doing for dinner because I I decided it in my brain. <laughs> anyway. This is the movie Surf's Up. Jesus Christ. That's a reference. Hey, may we get a second? What's up? All right. Um, I was wondering the logistics of... I want to find a scribe and have them write up a slave transfer uh, contract. Not signed Ooh, or that anything. Is a, that is a big ask. Um, it's Technically, there are ways to do it. You would need to get into contact with a scribe. Uh... The majority of them would uh, there wouldn't there wouldn't really be any among the peasantry, so to speak. Um, you would most likely need an in with the nobility. Um, there are absolutely ways to do this. I couldn't just find one of the scribes that's been fucking about and ask them to write up just like a. My name's Dave, and I'm transferring to X. To blah, blah, blah. Uh, not unless you have prior report. Uh, something like that is a mm. is a fairly significant document. It's absolutely doable. It's just not really the kind of thing that you can go up to someone and be like, "Hey, do this thing." Here's yeah, it's regulated and shit. Okay, it's not regu It's not so much regulated. Uh, just something that we would need to be able to set up. That's all. Um, uh, okay. it is doable though. Yeah, I was I was hoping to do it as Sevita anyway. Maybe I could put it on my DM sheet and we can handle it next uh, episode or something. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you, Maple. Thank you, Pylupe Savitar. That's the one. That's all three. All right, I gotta go do the thing. That's... Mm, okay. To like be I don't in charge know of people and do paperwork and sit at a desk all day. You won't know and... until you try. I think you'd be finger looking good at it. Finger. Came into this conversation yeah. at the tail end, and that was weird. Yeah. Just talking to Corporal okay. Sanders. Ha 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 ha! You get it. Uh, that, that puppy has been there since this morning. <laughs> Is that He's puppy dead? Royal steed. Good job watching the store. You're doing great. Oh no, it's alive. They're doing great. You're doing oh, great. Sorry. We're proud of you. Wait, oh, oh wait, where did where did Aldo go? Oh there he is. Oh get up Aldo. You Use your words. No. I've got this. <laughs> well, have fun, you two. Hmm. Forgot to tell you, Basil wants to see us later. For whatever reason. As in, she wants to see us, or she wants to see us, or she wants to see us. Who wants to see our friends? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Later or like when we're free? Because I'm free now. We could go check 
if she's there now. I'll go find my friend. How will we be right back? Tell, tell him I'll be right here. Okay. I will see what be if. Hello, freak. I am a freak. Let's I am go. a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I truly fell out. There was a hair on my arm. That is not terrifying, I don't know what it is. What? It's it is so strange, isn't it? Where the fuck is she? Wait, I know what to do. Oh you you are copying me. <laughs> oh, are you doing it? No, you oh, no no no, no I'm an accent. Yes, I have a feeling they are busy. Like we're gonna have to come back later. Okay. Like when it's evening time. Okay, okay. No. We just yawned at the same time, but on different sides of the world. My god, we are twinning. Sometimes we swallowed it. What? Twinning. The fuck are you talking about? Ow. I'm not a no. I'm not a girl, you know. 
I'm sorry. You're wearing gold. So what do you have to do? What, what do you have to do today, man? And I got the extra and? money now. Oh, oh, I'm just kind of relaxing. Only nobles wear gold. Pull a fit. What about your phone? Get out. Oh, I guess that's it. I guess we are playing the waiting game then. Mm. <coughs> could go sit somewhere. I don't know. You could drink at the tavern. Wait for the sun to go down every day, honestly. Don't have work to do. What you fucking me say today. to me? Oh. Oh. You fucking say something to me? The fucking cojones. Going to fucking fight. Yeah. Where's Ladia? Yeah. Ooh, I know what you can come help with. Sam, are you free? Yeah, actually. And I have something Let's on my go. mind that maybe you can help with. Perfect. We'll make it to double oh. triple date. Let's go. Oh. Same spot, same tree, red the noodle. If you're so nosy, follow us. She's like a big mama duck and we're ducklings. <laughs> Adopted. Still family. <clears throat> so, now that we're farther out of town, I can talk about this. Um, teaching Sif how to throw axes. I know you're very good at throwing sharp objects, too. So uh, specifically you knives. Some pointers that I don't have. Not quite on uh, throwing mm. axes, though. That is a whole other matter that I... Same. It's new to me as well, but she's she's picking it up fast. Aren't you just good with throwing things in general? Like a tree that... Uh, I've never thrown an axe before. I have to practice with a new thing before I get good at it. Especially a weapon. Was it this way? Oh, yes, it was. Cast blood. Oh, I see. This is what the gods were saying. Did they take your tree? Nope, there's your tree right there. I feel this like the coastline it. changed a little bit. Yeah, we'll Did have to check that out. There's a pathway here. We'll hmm. check it out when we're done with your training. Sure. Oh, training. Hmm. Mm, teaching her to throw shit. It's really fun. She's really good at it. <laughs> here, stand still, Hugh I'll see if I can hit you. Okay. Damn it. Oh, that's right, it was that one. Oh no, please. I just laid down. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Miss Sif. You're the tree. I mean the trees. The trees are speaking, Gradian. The trees are speaking under common. I actually have something Fuck. to ask. Ask you. Who? Yeah. So, I was out wandering the forest and investigating that, like, like past the <sighs> logging camp, there is like this sort of encampment set up. I got close enough. Uh, one of them was in the watchtower was wearing an iron breastplate, but he didn't have any colors or anything like that. And my idea is either mercenaries or slavers, if you know anything about that. Mm. Hmm. I'm really not sure. 
And then the weirdest thing happened. I don't actually remember walking. I, well, I do remember walking, but it's... It's like I had spaced out, but I wouldn't have done that so close to the... The fort, the encampment. And then when I came back to it, I was in the middle of the Sabine forest. So, make of that what you will, I guess. Strange, did you drink or eat something uh, uh. that might have messed with you? No. In fact, I'm getting a little hungry again. Hmm. Uh, I don't then know. I thought I was on the opposite of side of... Then I thought I was on the opposite side of the river that's just up the road a little bit, but it turns out I was across the farther one, and I don't ever remember crossing that one. You're saying you blacked out or something, and you moved without knowing? Uh, not really. It's like... I don't remember walking. If that makes sense. Just like, I knew I was walking, out. but I don't... I, I knew I was walking, but I don't have any memory of what I walked through until I came back. Were you thinking about certain things, perhaps? Just too deep in your own thoughts? I can think of... Yeah. And any, any idea what it could have been? I... I, I'm not branch. sure. I've never. I have honestly never walked out in those woods, so I'm not really even sure which area you're speaking of. I stick uh, to the roads for my job. It's. It's. Huh, I don't remember. <laughs> Strange. Well, if you do remember... Sudden onset of amnesia. Maybe. I mean, if you've, if you've been staying cool, it can get quite hot, uh, hot out in the sun. That could cause I heat was... stroke or other things. Oh, that was awful. I was next to the river. I just washed in it, so I don't think so. Not well, sure. I suppose it's best just not to, I guess, go back, whatever that was. I did yeah. find a boar, so maybe it was Bay near leading me to something he wanted me to fight. Uh, possible. From what you've said about how you follow your faith and the profession you are, it makes sense that he would speak to you in different ways. Perhaps they'll go out there again then. Do be careful, just in case. Invisible cat number one, stop chewing on that plastic. I'm going yeah, to get you, fucker. you my pretty. Ra ra ra. You better run. <clears throat> so you guys just come out here and practice throwing axes. This is her second day. day. I plan to get her to militia very soon. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. Based on the previous throw there, it might take a little uh, longer. Uh, progress <laughs> is not linear. And by Donk. the end of... Oh. Did you just bunk me? <laughs> I did. <clears throat> I eventually I want her to split that tree in half. That will hmm. signify if she's learned enough. That makes sense. <laughs> stop Don't know if I've, uh, she's gonna crush you. Met you before. I do. All right, figure. you throw it then. Uh, Not a green hood, so lucky you. Sevatar, pleasure to meet you, Mister Sevatar. I'm the uh, courier in town. Mr. The Courier. Oh, that's not how to do it. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you. How is work? That bitch gone. 
Nothing today, unfortunately. Race. So quite uh now I have to track it down. Quite empty, so to speak. You do much traveling outside of Nautis. I do. Actually, quite a bit. Seen anything cookie? Ah, I've seen plenty of cookie things. Whee. Read it in my book whenever that's published. How's that? You are a writer. Start saying that, don't I? On occasion. Mm. I just like to log uh, things I experience where I go. It's a long book that no one's going to ever believe when they read it. What? Is it fantasy? Ah, I wish. What is it called? I don't have a title yet. I've been trying to come up with a title for the last four years. <sighs> there and back again, a courier's tale. Oh, fuck. I hate how accurate that is, actually. I was born and raised in Gradia. Then I left Gradia and started writing about it, and then I... <laughs> ended right back up here. Well, there you go. There's... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> how did you do that? What? How did you what? Do I think she's ready. Do what? You fucking... I... I think Hold she's on. ready. What did it look like to you? <laughs> oh. It, it, oh. There <laughs> what the... It was just floating in the air what? for me. Can you just it? And it was like... Mm. It's a wardle.